Yes, what's going on everyone? It's Nancy Baker. I'm back with another Thursday Night Live. This week we have Eunice joining us. I'm so excited to have her join us. Just going to wait for her to come in. As always, we're going to see how long it takes for her to get in and how long it takes for her to jump on and be ready to go. Really, really looking forward to it. Haven't got a request yet. Let's see where she, she is. Let me see if I can add her. This is probably the one that's taken the longest. Is she in yet? No, not yet. Eunice, if you're in, send a request. Or I can see if I can find you. Hopefully she, she gets on it. Hello, everyone that's saying hi. She got the request yet? We sent the invite. Ah, there we go. There we go. Why is it not coming on? So I'm pressing accept and it's not coming up. That's so weird. Let's see if it goes again. We might have to jump out. It's, okay, let's let's see what's going on here. Eunice, where are you at? I'm sending you an invitation. <laughs> Send the invitation. Is it working? Ah, there you Hi. are. Hi. How are you? Okay, how are you? I'm not too bad. That was the longest one. You have taken the longest to get in. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm in Ghana right now and the connection is not the best, but um, it's looking good, though. It's looking good. I was just going to say, I, c I can hear you. I can yeah. hear you when you're, the picture's fine, so... Maybe it's just maybe we blame it on Instagram. We blame it. On yeah, Instagram. let's just blame it on uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> How has your day been? It's been um, yeah, I've been sleeping a lot because I went um, yeah out with friends last night and yeah, <laughs> I'm back home now. <laughs> so Haven't really done much today. <laughs> Sorry. Today has been a rest day. Today has been a rest day for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it it looks like it's very sunny. Yeah, the sun is about to go down actually because it's, it's 5 p.m. and it goes down very, very early. So it's about to be like really dark in like a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Wow. How much? The sun goes down around like 5 50 p.m. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I'm so jealous that you're you're out in Ghana and I'm stuck in London. Yeah, you should, you should come and join me next time. I, it's I, actually really fun. I wish. I um, Honestly, like, it's on one of my places that I want to go. I, I really want to visit Ghana. I have um, a lot of family friends who are Ghanaians, so they always teach me about the culture and teach me about, like... It's really nice. It's a beautiful culture. It's great, it's great vibes out here. Like, I, everyone is just trying to have fun and enjoy the sun and just get out of the, all the stress that's going on in Europe. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I bet. How long are you out there for? Um... I'm leaving in the beginning of January. Ah, okay. So two weeks, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you've got quite a long winter break, right? Uh, in um, the... Not this season, though. No? Um, oh. We're, we're starting quite early um, with our preseason as well. And I ah. think, um, I mean, compared to the, the past years, we're actually starting a bit earlier, yeah. Ah, okay. When is, so you're going, when you go back, you'll be going back into preseason? Yes, we're going back into preseason, and then I think we have our first game in the first week of February. Yes, so I did a little bit of research because I was checking it out, and it's I think it's maybe the sixth of February. And I, yes, I, yes, I thought that was quite late, but obviously it's different to to yeah. have over in. That's true. Yeah, um, oh. um, so it's like the first week of February, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's like uh, around my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 a February baby. I think. Yeah. 
Your birthday's the... I did research. Your birthday's the 8th? Yeah, perfect. I'm yeah. in the I, uh, yeah. I have to make sure I did my research before before I, before I come. That's good. That's good. So, <laughs> well prepared. That's it. You've got, you've got to be prepared when you come onto this. So <laughs> how are you enjoying being out in Ghana? What, what are your plans with your winter break? Obviously, you've had mm -hmm. a, a good season out in Germany working yeah. So what's, what's the plan for the winter break, first and foremost, before we get The plan is just to, to relax and calm down, but also to work, still work on myself. We still yeah. have to, um, like now we're having um, a, a fully break of like, like right after Christmas, pretty yeah. much. So I'm starting on the 27th with our um, pre-season, pre, pre pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, so for me right now, I'm, I'm here with my family, I'm here with my parents. Yeah. Um, so it's just good to be out here and enjoy the the heat, um, and yeah, it's it's just different vibes out here. So I'm actually really really enjoying it. Yeah, I remember when I said to you to jump on a live with me, and I gave you this date, and you said I'm gonna be in Ghana, and I was just like, <laughs> I am so jealous. <laughs> I remember you said that. I was like, I'm so so jealous. What are you? Obviously, you're there. You've been there a few days now. But when you were when you were flying out, getting ready to come out, what were you most excited about? being back in um, Ghana I was actually most excited about the the heat to be honest and um yeah just to see my friends again um because it's been a while like we pretty much see each other every year in December yeah. in Ghana yeah even like some of them they even live in Germany but there's 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 no time to see each other so when we are all out here it's just like okay let's meet up let's meet up let's meet up but we could have done that in Germany <laughs> but yeah <laughs> It's, it's still it's still nice though yeah. yeah definitely and as you said it's just nice to get away nice to nice to be with the family you said you're, you're with your mum and dad so I bet nice yeah. quality time and, see, and seeing your friends so exactly. yeah I'm very as I said I'm very jealous that you are out in Ghana <laughs> with the sunshine because I would love nothing more than to be on holiday that makes yeah I know I totally understand yeah <laughs> So um, I think the first thing we're going to dive into, which which I've actually sort of only just realised about you, you have played in quite a few countries, haven't you? Yes, I have. I actually have. Do you want to um, reel them off for, for the people who don't know where you've played? Okay, so I've played in, um, obviously now I play in Germany, yeah. and, and I played in Sweden, I played in Switzerland, I played in the States, and I played in, in Spain. So, wow, yeah. You covered a, a lot of a lot of areas which yeah. has been based on the country itself where has yeah. been your favorite place to play this is such a hard question to, to answer to be honest because it's like every experience was different to me and yeah. um for me it was always like a hot, it, it has always been a dream for me to play in the states and yeah. um yeah when i got the opportunity to to play in boston um I was really happy about it and um, I enjoy my time over there. But then also in Switzerland, that's when I had like my best season. I yeah. scored, uh, I think, 25 goals in 26 games, I believe. And You're a top um, goal scorer, right? Yes, yes. And then the experience in Spain and in Sweden, it was all good. But if I would have to really choose one country, it would, it would probably be Switzerland just because um, I had such a great time there performing very very good as well yeah and um, what would you say which country would you say and the team you were at was the most physically demanding definitely america yeah i thought it was gonna be america yeah it was so physical like i felt like i got on the field in the first minutes i felt like i'm about to pass out just because <laughs> this like it was just so speedy everything and the yeah. heat it was just a, a different uh, style of football, <laughs> yeah, in America for sure. So you spoke about it obviously being one of the most demanding and that you really wanted to play out in America. So how did it come about that you actually got the opportunity to go out there and play? And how it was obviously a massive move because essentially it's on the other side of the world, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. So um, before I signed my contract for America, I played for Bayern Munich. Yep. And um, I didn't have as many minutes, um, yeah, as I, I I wanted to get. So I, um, I got an offer from um, from uh, Boston Breakers that time, and 
yeah, I was really happy about it because this has really always been my dream to play in the States because you've always seen, you know, the the best players playing in the States and I wanted to do that as well. Yeah. So yeah, when I got the opportunity, um, I, I had to say yes. <laughs> so yeah. Did you know anyone before you went out? So as you was going out there, did you know anyone that was on the team out there or anyone that was yeah. out there at all? Or? I actually knew uh, Christy Mewis. Okay, um, nice. He played with me in, in Munich as yeah. well. Yeah. But the rest of the players, I didn't know them at all. So no. it, how did you feel going out there knowing literally one person? I'm quite nervous and shy. Is is always, um, yeah. Like the, in the, in the like the first days is always like you have to like get warmed up um, yeah. with with the new players and everything. But then after a while, you just get used to everyone, and everyone is cool, everyone is nice. So yeah, they're trying to make you feel very comfortable. Yeah. Did you feel like you really developed as a player out there with obviously the physical demands that we spoke mm -hmm. about? Yeah, for sure. Like. Um, especially when it comes to strength and conditioning training. Yeah. I have definitely improved uh, there as well. And I was even way bigger in America because we had so much like weights training and everything. Yeah. And um, I could do like very heavy deadlifts, very heavy squats, um, mm. pull-ups and everything. It was, it was, it was tough. It was a lot. Yeah. It's was you not, and a great was you not tempted by the food that they have out there? Like, you know, all yes. like, the good food they have in America. Was you so not tempted? Or... Yes. How was. hard was that? I was really, really tempted. Like, really tempted. And it's, it's so cheap as well. So, yeah. Yeah. I was eating out a lot, too. Yeah. Did you <laughs> not have yourself on, really... a strict, on a strict diet? On a... Yeah. I, like, I think it was also probably a reason why I gained much more weight in America. Yeah. But um, then like combining it with strength training is, is actually totally fine then. But um, I wasn't on a strict diet at all, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and now obviously you're at uh, FC Cologne. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually been to the, uh, so obviously we had Bella on the, uh, like two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I was oh, telling oh. Bella that I've actually been to like the training ground and the training facilities and, oh, really? and the stadium and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, do you like it? Yeah, I do actually. Uh -huh. I think it's a good setup there. Yeah, it, it could be better though. It could definitely be better, but it's, it's, a, it's a great setup for sure. Yeah. I, I remember, I can't, I can't fully remember, but I remember going to like a, one of the training setups and there was like a, I think there was like, a volleyball pitch or something. Oh I'm... yes, yes. On on the on the left side, there's a volleyball pitch and like a um, five side court. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you use that in training to for um, specific training or not? Not really? not not that often. It's mostly um, our goalkeepers, ah. um, or like when we have like a um, recovery day, we, we yeah. play football tennis. Yeah, which is really fun. Who's the best at football tennis? Or oh, I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually the worst <laughs> at football tennis. Yeah. Who on your team? Reason, I don't even know why. <laughs> who on your team gets the call up? So when it's time to play football tennis, who are you calling up and being like, I need you on my team, I need you definitely to call Bella. Me. Definitely Bella. <laughs> if, if Bella was still on my team, I would call up Bella Bella for sure. Oh, yeah. okay. So she's the she's the goat when it comes to football she's tennis. She's the goat. She's the queen of football tennis, yes. <laughs> What is, you know, like all the mini games, so you have like football tennis, you have all those little fun games that you do, you know, like the cone game when you have to pull yeah. a cone. What's your favorite like activation, fun little game to play in training? Um, I would say um, it's like the, the header game where you have yes. to like, yeah, like where you, someone throws the ball to you and then you have to head inside the goal and then you have to then... Um, you have to turn around and then you're, you're the goalkeeper waiting for someone else to head the ball as well. Yeah. It's really hard to explain, but it's, it's actually a very fun game because um, you just have to like react the whole time. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's like re really, really fast because everyone is like, yeah, very, very excited to like uh, head the ball and everything. Yeah. So yeah. 
games like that as well i think because they're like a lot of they're obviously very very good for what you need to do and how you need to develop but mm. because they're so fun everyone gets on board but they get super competitive don't i can yes that's, imagine. that's, that's really true I, I mean any game play at training you get very competitive um i mean that's why we why we play football yeah <laughs> even like it's the we, most competitive yes that's who's the most competitive yeah I would say everyone <laughs> on the team. Everyone's of, le- of yeah. equal. I would, I would say so. Yes, for sure. Yeah, probably, uh, probably our coach though, because when he plays with us, he yeah. he gets really upset if he doesn't win. Like if his team doesn't win, he gets really upset. <laughs> Do you not let him win so he doesn't moan or is no, there? No, we won't let him win. We won't let. Good, him win. good. That's <laughs> that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to hear. So we also got a few questions sent in, and okay. I thought I'd uh, I get a few of them on the go. And okay. one of the first questions was, "Who is the hardest player you've ever come up against?" The hardest player? I don't even I don't look at my my players like that, so I I I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't ever think. Don't wow, know. like she she gave me a really good battle. It was like really demanding to go up against her. Oh, I thought like as in looks. <laughs> no, no, no. Like hardest as in like oh, okay, when you go okay. up against her on the pitch. Oh, who's, okay. who's... Um, I would say definitely Megan Rapino. Yeah. yeah. Just and makes it difficult. Even uh, Carly Lloyd as well. Yeah. So Carly Lloyd and Megan Rapino are the two. Very big players. Definitely very big players. How did they challenge you? How did you have? What did you have to do to sort of beat them and go up against them? How did you suss them out? It was. It was just. Um, it was just a very, very intense game and very, very tough game to play against them because yeah. their strength is so amazing and their te- intelligence is really, really amazing as well. Yeah. So um, just um, yeah, getting to experience to play against them was really, really nice and uh, tough at the same time. Yeah. Is there any players that you looked up to or you look up to now when you sort of aspire to play like or to be like? Yeah. When I when I was younger, I used to look up to Marta. Yeah. Um, okay. Brazilian player. Yeah, I used to look up to her a lot. And um, right now, I, I, I don't really look at any player anymore. Yeah. You just aim to be the best version of yourself. That's pretty much what it is, yeah. How... How do you think you've developed from when you was a younger player to to where you are now? What do you think mm-hmm. your biggest development has been? I think it has been good so far. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, I've I've been going through a lot in in football, and I've been going through good times and bad times as well. And I feel like um, these times they, they make you stronger and and wiser for sure. So. Um, I'm I'm actually very pleased with what I've achieved so far. Probably could have been better, but you never know. Like, it is what it is sometimes. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I've achieved a lot, and that's which I'm really really proud proud of. Yeah, definitely because you got your pro contract when you were like your first professional contract when you were quite young, right? Yeah, I was 18 and I played for Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, what was that like being so young and getting? Well, literally, mm-hmm. come out of like being a teen and like school. Yeah. school. yeah, I I feel like I was I was ready to to play professional my whole life, so it wasn't really um, obviously it was really exciting to me, but I feel like that that's the path I wanted to go my whole life, so I was really working, like looking forward to it. Yeah. When did you know that football? Obviously, you you played football your whole life. You loved football your whole life, but when did you? think to yourself and really realize that it was one very doable to become a professional footballer and two when did you say okay I'm actually gonna start working towards this and really take Mm -hmm. it seriously I think it started when I played for the youth national team already and when I got to see like the players around me are really really good and um, yeah you gotta if you want to compete with them you have to like make sure you know, you get you get your stuff done. You get your um, you get you do your extra stuff and everything. Yeah. So I started doing strength by the age of fifteen already. Oh wow! Um, yeah, and so from there on, I I wanted to like you know make sure 
I do the right things to to get better and better to become a professional player. So yeah. I I knew it quite quite early that if I want to play professionally, I would have to like, yeah, go hard on it for sure. Definitely. Do you feel like you had to? I don't want to say sacrifice, but was there a lot of times like growing up you had to sort of put football first before before other things and yes definitely definitely it's like uh even till this day um it's, you can't just go out on weekends yeah and uh drink or hang out with your friends or like um i have friends um who don't play football at all when yeah. they're really interested in football yeah and they don't understand if i'm off on saturday and i have a game on sunday that i don't yeah. want to go anywhere yeah they, they don't understand that so it's always like a big conversation and to this day they don't understand that my priority is football yeah and be ready for the game on sunday yeah so um yeah so this is definitely a sacrifice that i had to take all the time just because um players um my friends didn't understand that football yeah. is like the most important part in my life definitely now i can relate like obviously playing and I'm working in football like for me I love going and watch watching women's football matches and some for my friends who don't watch women's football mm -hmm. I will literally have to persuade them to come and watch football with me or if I have to go out with them and the women's football games on I will literally put my phone on the table and watch football and they'll be like what yes. are you doing I'm like I'm that's watching what I'm football <laughs> that's what I'm saying and then sometimes I, I would go out and watch football as well and no one is really like into it like that yeah but I'm I'm going to support it if 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 I can. <laughs> yeah. Which team yeah. do you support? Arsenal. Are oh, you Arsenal fan? I'm a, I'm a huge Arsenal fan. Yeah. Ah. I feel like I very big Arsenal fan. Who is your favorite player? Thierry Henry. Yeah, he's a baller. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't play there anymore, but it was Obviously. it was Thierry Henry. Yes. And now who's your favorite player? <sighs> right now, oh this is hard. I would say Thomas Partey. Yeah, it's because he's Ghanaian as well, and I have to support my Ghanaian people. Yeah, love <laughs> that. Um, what's your favorite Arsenal kit? Oh, from all time, from all time. Oh, this is hard. It's a good question though, I, but I yes, it is hard. Know, I don't know from what year it is, but it's the the Nike one with the. Um, do I? Am I allowed to say brands? Because I had like mm -hmm. the O2. Yeah, the O2, the burgundy one. Yes, the gold. yes, yes, that one. Yes. Yeah, I would say that one. But I, I, I don't have that one. I think I have the Puma ones, yeah. The ones that, from... that yeah. kit reminds me of Thierry Henry. The, the O2 one? Yeah, that kit. It, and it that's really what, does remind me. Yeah. yeah. Um, You're an Arsenal I think fan there's well? like, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I sub, I sub, well, not men's football, but women's football, I sub, sort of support like every team. Yeah. I try and stay neutral just to avoid getting in any complications when my <laughs> friends ask me why I don't support their team and I support a different team. It makes sense, yeah. But um, yeah, that Arsenal kit reminds me of Thierry Henry and I'm pretty sure there's like, obviously there's loads of iconic pictures of him, mm -hmm. but there's an iconic picture of him in that kit. But I just love the colourway as well. Like that burgundy, purple, yeah. red yeah. is a very, very good colour. Very nice one, for sure. What's your favourite kit that you've ever played in Woo! i would have to say uh, fc cologne yeah and um, we get like um we have like a carnival traditional carnival every year in oh. in germany yeah. so it starts on the 11th um of november and it finishes um in i think in march so we get oh, wow. like, uh, carnival jerseys uh, that oh. we, which we would play um in twice a year and it's always like a really, really nice one every year. So I would say definitely FC Cologne. So does every team do that in the league, or is no? It just... It's just it's just our team. That's yeah. really cool. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, because we go really hard for carnival. And in Cologne, and every year it's a different kit that you a every different year carnival. Is a different kit. one, like it's like a special edition jersey. Yeah. Oh wow! And who comes up with like the kit design? Is it by? Is it's by the club someone i don't that's know that's really cool yeah. i didn't know cologne did that did the men do that as well men as well yeah oh so wow it's, it's like mostly like um around the 11th of november yes. and then in february as well yeah where we that's play so like, cool yeah 
I didn't, I genuinely have never ever heard of that. I didn't even know that was a thing. So oh, really? I, I feel like have... I've learned something on this live. I'm feeling really proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and then, do, do you get to keep the jerseys as well? Yes, we get to keep the jerseys, yeah. Do you wear your jerseys as fashions, as like fashion? No, I mostly give my jerseys away to family or friends. Ah, nice. Yeah. If I can, I, I, I try to give my jerseys away, yeah. Ah, uh, that's really nice. Obviously, I think it's a topic that I've like sort of spoken about before. Obviously, in the women's game, you don't get as many jerseys as, as you do compared yeah. to, to other leagues. So it can be quite difficult to give away jerseys like on demand. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to hear that you do it whenever you can and obviously yeah, wherever you can. Definitely, definitely. If I can, if I can give, give away jerseys, that's the first thing I'll do. I don't even think I, I've ever kept one of my, I don't even have any of my jerseys i i tried to give them away oh wow that's i think you're probably one of the first footballers i've ever heard say that genuinely really yeah i'd like I, yeah i know, I know players you don't them get away. that many jerseys so and everyone is asking for them and it's like like there's there's no way for me to keep a jersey <laughs> yeah do you also give like your kit away as well like each season and stuff or do you keep yes, your kit season I don't keep a single jersey. Oh, wow. And what about, like, your training kit and stuff like that? Um, I mostly give them to my nephews. Nice. Yeah. Every, so, every year. So they're set for life with... Yeah, with they're definitely kit. set for life. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I love that, though. And do they know that they're getting it year on year? Yes, they, they know that. Ah, uh, so it's like... They, they get my boots, well. they get my jerseys, they get everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you literally just get left with the memories of football. You don't get you don't Pretty get much. none of none Pretty of much. the kit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so funny. Um we were talking earlier about obviously like playing football, what it means, how important it is to you, etc. And one of the questions that we always get sent in mm -hmm. is what advice would you give to young aspiring players? Oh, definitely keep doing keep like keep going hard. Work your off and <laughs> yeah just have fun at what you do don't put any pressure on yourself but whatever you do make sure you go really hard yeah and just enjoy the game it's, it's beautiful i love it and it's fun at the same time and um i'm actually really happy to be in this position that i can yeah. play football and play professionally and uh, don't have to do a nine to five job so yeah Make sure you go hard. It's really worth it. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I think before I let you go, I want to know mm -hmm. if you had a five-a-side team, you were the manager of the team, so you can't put yourself in. Uh, oh. Past and present players, uh, women only. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, definitely Bella. <laughs> Bella, okay. Definitely Bella makes Bella. it. Um, Are you going to make Bella captain too? She can be the captain. She can be the okay. captain. Why not? Why not? Um, um, Viviana uh, Midema. Yeah. So Lisa Evans. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, yeah. Sarah Tadrati. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Shanice. Why not? So you've basically gone for everyone who I'm is... going for the We Play Strong squad. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, very clever and very, very quick from you. I like that a lot. <laughs> that was very, very clever. And we're going to make Bella captain. Bella is the captain. Yes. Bella is the captain. Okay. <laughs> and you're the manager. I'm the manager. Yeah. Are you going to bring the goat from Cologne to be the mascot as well? Because <laughs> I know nice. about that. Why not? That's good. That's good. Yeah, I why know not? About that. I'll bring the gold for sure. There we go. We smashed it. So we've got a We Play Strong 5 or 5 squad with you as the manager and the goat from Cologne as the mascot. Yes, that sounds good, doesn't it? It's a very, very decent squad. With and <laughs> No one else has brought a mascot in as well, so you've already won up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so, so much for joining us. Um, I hope Thanks you have the me. best time in Ghana again. I'm so jealous. Bring back the sun and send it over to London for me. I will. It's probably going to take 
till June, July. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, enjoy. But it's on its way. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Enjoy your your holiday. Enjoy the time with your family, and obviously you so the festive much. season. I Thank hope you. you have a great rest of your evening and we will catch up soon. Thank you, everyone right. who's tuned in and see you next week, everyone, for another live. Peace. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Bit. No worries. Bye. Bye.